Scott Redding, who managed to pull it out of the bag on Saturday last week for a third position on the uh, starting grid. Can he do the same again here? Three times a front row starter already in 2020. He hasn't generally had the pace so far this weekend. Found something extra in free practice three this morning. And Loris Baz is up after sector one as well. So watch out for him. There's plenty of laps going to be going in at the same time here. Yeah, we saw Baz on the Q tire last week, qualify second on the grid, really strong performance. He's there to be able to make the most out of it this weekend as well in sector one. Let's see if he's able to keep that lap going. Scott Redding just about to come through the end of sector three. Three tenths of a second down so far on this lap. Scott Redding, can he hold on to move provisionally onto the front row of the grid? As things stand, he would slot in between Ray and Davies, and that would be a decent result. But there are several riders up and down the grid who are set to improve. Bautista, uh, the likes of Loris Baz as well. So uh, watch out for those. And then don't forget about Tom Sykes, who's going to go for a late Super Bowl effort as ever. Here comes Scott Redding then on his way to the line. He goes second. It's a 149 flat. He's not quite able to dip into the 1 minute 48. But that's that's a strong final sector from Scott Redding to go P2. Riders around him all attempting to improve here. Bautista will be the next of the front runners coming towards the line. Baz as well is into the final sector. Michael Ruben Rinaldi and Michael Vandermark are up and running in the first two sectors of the lap. Here comes Bautista then looking to move on to the front row. He deposes Chaz Davies and goes third. It's Ray Redding, Bautista as things stand. Loris Baz losing ground in the closing stages of the lap. He sits fifth. Yeah, really crucial for Davis that he is faster than Baz and Caracasulo, at least it gives him a little bit of a buffer compared to some of the other riders. He's just trying to stay on to that front two rows of the grid. This is Michael Ruben Rinaldi, though, and uh, he's down by three tenths of a second, but he could easily move himself onto the front row of the grid. Rinaldi then down in eighth position at present. Leon Haslam has just deposed him by uh, moving into P4. That uh, would be his best effort of the season so far if he can hold on to it. Uh, P5 in Phillip Island, his previous best for 2020. Michael Ruben Rinaldi, though, will be optimistic or for moving up the order. He crosses the line and goes P2. Another rider not quite able to dip into the 1 minute 48. Rinaldi though goes second and the team Go 11 outfit are delighted with that. Quarter of a second covering the top three. Ray Rinaldi, Redding as things stand. Tom Sykes comes over the line but can only go P4. Not quite onto the front row of the grid. For him, Raz Gatlioglu over the line claims seventh position. Much improved compared to uh, 11th on the grid here a week ago. Vandermark losing time. Uh, Hamden over fist in the second half of that lap and he remains down in 11th position and looking vulnerable to the likes of Alex Lowe's who's up and running now on his hot lap currently sitting down in 16th position so this is going to be crucial for him yeah for Van der Mark looks like he made a mistake in sector three on his last lap and uh, that's what cost him the time you can see Scott Redding he's ran off the track there as well but uh, for all the riders left out on track now Van der Mark's trying to go for a second lap we've seen that some riders haven't tried to do that Chaz Davis looked like he was trying to do it but lost that pace in the second half of his lap the good thing for Van der Mark is he probably cruised for quite a long portion of his last lap so he might have been able to just about retain enough tyre life to try and attack for a second lap Leon Haslam making his way then back towards pit lane currently sitting in sixth position but the focus is on two riders who are now into the second half of their laps Michael Vandermark who is currently tracking in line to move on to the third row of the grid and Alex Lowe's who desperately needs to make progress from 16th position Lowe's will be the first of them to make it towards the line and to Alex Lowe's three quarters of a second down after sector three he makes his way now into the final two turns he's feeling under the weather and can he just pull something out of the bag to make his life a little bit easier for race one Lowe's out of the final turn then down in 16th position at present hoping to move at least up onto the front four rows of the grid here. Lowe's goes ninth. That's a good effort in the closing stages of the lap to move on to row number three.